Coming out now, we've got Nash Hilton, who, if you've been to Cage Wars here at Rivers, he's uh, he's the Jimmy he's the he's Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix. Hendrix. He's Jimmy, Jimmy Hendrix. Uh, he'll be taking on Tom Lin Lindsay Jr. He plays the guitar like I only wish that I ever could learn. Yeah, he's got everything. He's got the style. He's got the ad. He's uh, the whole thing. The whole My fingers couldn't move that way if I tried. No. Uh, yeah. With a, with a little bit of lessons and some time, well, I've seen you're very talented, very <laughs> talented man. I've seen you hit Focus Master. That was very talented. <laughs> a lot of talent. All right, so we got Tom Lindsay coming out of Team Giba Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with a record of one and two, fighting Nash Hilton out of Bury Jiu-Jitsu, one and one. You know, Nash is a, is a man of all of all skills. Jack of he, all trades. Jack of all trades. He does the uh, the intro, but he's also a coach at, at a Brian Bury affiliate school, Clobber Jiu-Jitsu Academy. You know, and really that can kind of hurt him too because I saw on a social he was coaching this week, fight week. You know, so was his mind fully in this camp? Yeah, or, or is he just one of these freaks in nature who's always in shape, can train any time, any day? Uh, he looks to be in tremendous shape. Well, and at 155 I mean, pounds, he's got a giant frame. Yeah, he's a big guy. Giant he's frame. Big 155er, absolutely. You know, most times guys that height and that size are usually at 70. I mean, he's a big, strong man. And he really wants to prove something coming off of his last loss. Nash Hilton making his way inside the cage. Big Dan making sure everything's on the up and up. There he comes. You think he feels a little extra naked in there without the guitar, or do you think th this is this is I his think home? this guy feels calm wherever he is. Yeah, he does seem he does seem pretty damn cool. We're gonna bring it up to Mike Falvo. Gentlemen, we want to say good evening and welcome to the Rivers Casino and Resort. New York's premier gaming destination. And we want to welcome, extend a special welcome to all of those watching around the world on Stimulus.com. Tonight's main card is presented by Cage Wars MMA and Sticker Mule. Tonight's main card is also presented by Jules Design Studio, Bricklayers Local Number no. 2, Local Allied Craft Workers, UA Local Number no. 7, Plumbers and Steam Fitters, RDX Sports, the official glove supplier for Cage Wars MMA. The Aqua Training Bag. Train longer and train harder with the Aqua Training Bag. Use promo code CAGEWARS10 for 10% off your next purchase. Tonight's main card is sanctioned by the United States Muay Thai Association. Executive Director Ed Kinner is in attendance. The judges for tonight's main card are Mr. Chris Polinski, Rob Exisa, and David Bruce. And your fight doctor at cage side is Dr. Michael Sheridan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado... Let's do this! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in yesterday 156 pounds, representing disorderly conduct. Out of Cortland, New York, Tom Lindsay. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in yesterday at 155.3 pounds. Representing Brian Bury Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out of Waterfleet, New York, The Avenger, Nash Hilton. <laughs> and the man in charge of the action when that door closes, Mr. Leslo Hufe. All right. You know, they're both coming from Jiu Jitsu schools. The, the big thing you're going to notice with these two guys is the height and length difference. And, you know, we're going to see if, if that plays a, a role on the ground. A lot of times those longer guys, they've got more length to create leverage on chokes and different things. Nice Ooh. leg kick. Oh, to the hook. Oh. Oh. Well, I think you got your answer. Although. But nice wow. job. Great job by Lindsay. Weathering the storm there, showing some strength. Well, I think after he felt that leg kick, he was all set. <laughs> he yeah. was ready to be done with that. And the game changes. Novice rules don't apply. This is straight up ground and pound. Yes, and see, here's what I'm talking about, about Nash being long, right? He's got these long legs going up for that triangle choke. Even if he's not going to hit it, he's threatening with it. These long limbs really allow him to utilize them to his advantage. Oh, this is just great groundwork here. I mean, this is just textbook. 
And he's going to do that. Oh, that was oh, a tap. Tap. He tapped. He tapped. Tap. That was outstanding. Wow. He, I, don't think, I don't think Nash knows. Okay. All right. Wow, that was impressive. Sure was. I, I think he was in so deep. I don't. I don't think he was able to untangle. <laughs> no, and that's exactly it. Yeah. But you know, I mean, I don't. I don't blame Tom Lindsay when you're getting choked no. like that. Enough's get enough. Off. Get the fuck off me. Excuse and the ref too. You know, he ended up on top. All that pressure on the neck. You know, I mean, wow, that was an impressive say. win by Nash. Nash is a pretty cool dude right now. Look at him. He's sitting over there like, <laughs> like he just put in his work. And that was less than a minute. We'll be able to watch it from, we could take it right from the top of the round uh, once our guys get that set. And, and, that, was, and that was the result of the, 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 the heavy hands early. And the heavy kicks. The heavy hands, heavy kicks. Fight goes down to the ground. Which is where he thought he wanted it. And then Nash, using those long legs, threatened for the, the triangle choke, used it to create some ground and pound, and used it to create that, that sweep, that reversal, which resulted into the... All right, we'll take it right from the top. And I always think that the ground, like the aggressive ground and pound, the damage on the ground is... Nice leg kick to the hook. So impressive. Right there, Lindsay says, nope, we're going to the ground. Excellent job, but Nash doing a good job keeping his composure. Yeah. You're going to see him get those knees in, get to his right hip. He's going to get that guard. He's going to threaten with the triangle, moving his legs up, clearing the hips, clearing the shoulder. How good is that? He's going to deliver some ground and pound. Again, Lindsay doing the right thing, punching. He should be trying to stack Nash, but now, Nash has these long legs that he can just control. But but this is this to me seems textbook. You know exactly what's textbook. happening now it's, from a layman perspective. He is he has cut off every seal. He's cut, shut off all the valves. He's left his like an anaconda. Left absolutely. his opponent. There, yep. That is, there's no way out. That's high level. That, yep. That's high level. There's no way out. And it, it's definitely he's definitely showing out after his last loss. Where what what? Where would he? What, would, what belt would he be? What level is that uh, in I the gym? I believe he's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. I believe that's what he is. He's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, and, and that's what you have to be to be an instructor. That um, that appeared very, very, very strong right there. We'll get the official decision. You know, he's a lot of fun. He's looking over here at us, making faces, and we'll take it into <laughs> the ring. He's a cool dude. How about a round of applause for these two great fighters, ladies and gentlemen? Referee Laszlo Juve has called a stop to the fight 44 seconds into round number one. For your winner, by way of triangle joke, Nash Hilton. And they're still tending to Lindsay on the stool. I mean, I'm sure he's okay, but a little extra attention. We're going to bring it up to Jangleson for the interview. <laughs> 